Hey everyone, this is Rob Castle, Executive Director of Ward Relief Triad, and I want to share with you a little bit about what we, we can expect here in the Triad um, with the situation in Afghanistan. Um, we have evacuated many people who are in danger um, who are in Afghanistan, and um, as with all refugees, they've had to flee because they're in danger because of who they are or, or something that they believe. And now their path to get here to the triad is going to be long. They, they fly from Afghanistan, where they're evacuated to a second country, um, whether it be Germany or Qatar or other ones, where they have their background checked, make sure that um, they're eligible to come into our country. From there, they'll fly to a military base here uh, with the United States as they apply for employment, as they have further vetting. And then from there, they'll be dispersed and flown to through different resettlement agencies, um, some being here in the triad, whether it's Church World Service and African Service Coalition in Greensboro or World Relief in High Point in Winston-Salem. When they arrive, um, they come with a small amount of money. It's $1,225 per person. That's supposed to last them for 90 days. Now, much of this is taken right off the bat for deposits and rent um, as they start to they start their new life. Um, from that moment on, then, we try to work with them um, for employment services to help them with health concerns and mental health. Um, but the thing that's different about these Afghan parole that's different than refugees is some of these services aren't available for them. And so um, food stamps or um, Medicaid, it's not available for these parolees unless there's a legislative fix for it. So we need the community to surround them. Now in the triad, we have an incredible history of being this welcoming community where our church groups, community groups, individuals have really reached out to our newest neighbors to help them become established here in the triad. And we want to thank you for that. I want to ask you to continue to do that, to help us fill this gap of resources for our newest arrivals and really help them integrate here in the triad where they bring their strengths and we bring our strengths together and make the most flourishing triad we can.